Hey guys, hi and welcome to the video. My name is Somil Shah. I work as a software engineer. This video is going to be about MongoDB streams, a very interesting concept. So essentially, a lot of time in companies, we want to essentially build real-time analytics and maybe you're using a MongoDB as a database. Well, if there is a use case, you want to flow those events real-time, this is the video for you. What's the goal? Well, the goal is whenever anyone inserts document into MongoDB, I want that real-time event to flow on AWS Event Bridge. And from Event Bridge, I will have a rule that's gonna fire my Lambda. Then that Lambda can put the MongoDB data into Redshift, DynamoDB, S3, whatever it is. I'm gonna be showing you the flow, how to set up everything in this video. So keep watching to learn more, all right? All right, I'm on my screen. Um, what I did is I created a sample cluster by myself on my uh, MongoDB Atlas account. So let's let's do this, man. I mean, I'm I'm, I'm interested, right? Uh, so I already have a trigger, but uh, you know what I'm gonna do is I'll I'll delete it so that I can show you, right? How how to uh, work with this. So we'll delete this. Okay, so the trigger has been deleted, and uh, I I'm just making sure I don't have anything. Uh, yep, it's clean. And uh, yeah, let's get started guys. So let's click on add trigger. Um, so that we'll select database uh, and then we need to link our cluster. So we'll click on link here, right? Uh, we'll select the cluster, right? And then we'll select the database. Uh, in this case, I'm gonna be using LearnDB. Whenever I enter any message, it should real time flow to event bus and Lambda. So that's the use case. And I'm gonna say, I want the insert statements and then we'll say full document. Uh, we'll click on event uh, event bridge here. I'm gonna go to my Amazon account, copy my account ID. Uh, come come back co come back here. I'm gonna put that in here. Uh, I'm gonna select the region. I'm gonna click on save. So at this point, uh, if you now go to AWS event bridge and if you go to partner event sources, you should see something from um, um, that which says pending. So now we'll say associate event bus. We'll say to this organization and we'll click on associate. This should, this should essentially associate your event event bridge. Essentially now it's gonna send events to this event bus. Now, since it's ready, now we can click on here, uh, actually over here. And uh, yep, that looks good. So we have an event bus. Now we just need to create rules and, and, uh, and play with this, right? So now my goal is I wanna fire up a Lambda whenever I insert documents to MongoDB, right? So I'm gonna say Mongo streams, uh, We'll put the same name here. I'll select the event bus as this one. Click on next. Uh, all events I want to flow. You can also add filters if you want need. So we'll click on AWS service uh, and the target will be a, a Lambda function. And then uh, this would be a simple app, which is demo app, hello world. All it does, uh, it prints <coughs> the event so that like you could see it on the cloud watch, right? So the app name was gonna be demo app, hello world. So demo app, hello world, we'll put that, click on next, uh, tags just fine for now. Click on create rules. So yeah, my event bus is ready and now, now my rules are created. So now uh, we are all set guys at this point. So uh, let me select this from the drop down. Now I'll show you the magic. So the magic is the insert document and now look at the map. Uh, it's gonna flow the events real time. So I'm coming from Mongo streams is the message that I am I'm passing to the, I'm, I'm inserting a document to the MongoDB. And now if you observe, right, um, here are my Lambda. So if I go to my CloudWatch, uh, it should essentially create a CloudWatch group. And if I go here and uh, somewhere here, I, I'm not sure where exactly my message, there you go. I'm coming from my MongoDB stream. We have this event, uh, it's hard to see. Uh, hopefully I have to use a magnifier because otherwise you'll be like, oh, Samuel, you're lying. Um, so hopefully now you can see uh, we have the data coming in, right? Which is coming from essentially uh, MongoDB streams, right? So now essentially you can have your data uh, flowing. So if you're using MongoDB in the company and if you wanna de develop essentially analytics engine on that, you can flow these events to S3 and then essentially run glue crawlers or you can flow it to a DynamoDB or Redshift or whatever the use case is. Hope this video was useful. If you did find this video useful, let me know in the comment section below. And uh, we'll do a lot of cool things with MongoDB streams, Event Bridge, SQS, Lambdas. Uh, you know, we'll consume all these messages. This is just a demo that I'm showing you. But uh, hope you have enjoyed it. With that being said, thank you so much for watching. Keep smiling, keep programming. See you guys in the next video.